This is the view of the Dallas skyline, south of the Trinity River, a spectacular sight and soon the signature bridges designed by Santiago Calatrava will reach high into the sky, forever enhancing the view. Generations of families have been reared and raised in the southern part of the city, and now more and more people are discovering that this is the area with the most land available for development. It's ripe with opportunity. Southern Dallas is experiencing development and redevelopment at an accelerating pace. Numerous projects are already underway or planned in the community that will expand the business base that helps neighborhoods to be more vibrant and safe. The city has signed agreements with the ports of Houston, four Mexican ports, and the Panama Canal to explore and utilize Dallas as an inland port. The 6,000-acre master plan business community will be home to distribution, manufacturing, office, and retail. The region now enjoys um, a huge amount of support, uh, both nationally and internationally, in terms of this initiative. Our geographical location, midway between major markets in Mexico and Canada, makes this cutting-edge facility an ideal spot for any company producing and moving products through major trade corridors. When completed, the facility will process goods arriving via truck or train from deep water ports. Companies started to notice what we were doing, and they looked around and saw that we were the only location in the United States with five interstates within eight miles of each other. The Allen Group's development alone is expected to generate 60,000 jobs, and the economic benefits are only the beginning. You have an opportunity for people to uh, get good paying jobs close to home, which enhances their quality of life, which also strengthens their family bonds. For the southern sector, it provides hope and it fulfills dreams. Cheetah 26297, Executive Tower, Runway 17. The area is home to another key transportation facility. Dallas Executive Airport has undergone a major facelift in the past few years, and it is still growing. The new terminal offers a 21st century atmosphere, as well as comfortable accommodations. And the new control tower, which is open from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m., is winning rave reviews from aviators. This airport is just fantastic to operate out of, uh, with the two different one runways to choose from, the control tower being very accommodating. It's just really facilitated our flight school, getting everything done that we need to. I did this out here earlier, maintain 4,000. Plus, there is room to grow. 70 acres of property are designated for general aviation development, and an additional 100 acres have been designated for non-aviation industrial development. This is a, a perfect opportunity uh, for somebody interested in entering the ground floor of, of a market that is just developing uh, to consider uh, sites available for, for uh, locating their business, whether it's aviation, light industrial, or commercial. The sky is the limit for the first public university to open within the Dallas city limits. And UNT Dallas is going to be a, a, a university that will be civically engaged. and. Uh, that means that we will be very responsive to the workforce needs of the area in which we live in. UNT Dallas faculty, staff and students are taking their commitment to the community very seriously. Located near the site of the new Dallas Logistics Hub, the university is offering relevant areas of study, including a degree program in logistics and supply chain management. It will also be home to the Dallas Police Institute, which will train and prepare law enforcement leaders and serve as a national research site for urban law enforcement agencies. With 264 acres of land, there is plenty of room to grow. The city of Dallas, which invested in the land, recognizes that investing in the education of its residents is investing in the future. Study after study uh, has shown that uh, uh, the more education one has, the better quality of life. And the one thing that we also know is that the more people that we can get to enjoy a better quality of life translates into positive dividends for the community. Residents are the big winners as the economy strengthens, 
In Oak Cliff, this state-of-the-art carnival supermarket offers more than groceries. Families can now add basic medical services to the shopping list by visiting an express clinic located inside the store. And on South Buckner Boulevard near Syene Road, the area's first new shopping center in more than 50 years is alive with activity. Businessman Chris Aslam is one of many who recognize the new opportunities in the southern part of Dallas. When we were looking at this site in May of 2007, um, we just found the site. My dad was very, very interested in uh, find in this area. And he called me and said, oh, I heard uh, Tom Leppard on the radio. He's talking about South Dallas and what he wants to do for it. And that immediately firmed up in our minds, this is the place we want to be. Since this jack-in-the-box restaurant opened across the street from Fair Park, business has been booming. It was the most amazing thing to see when we first opened the store. We really didn't advertise that we were open, but we had over 100 people in line. National retailers such as this AutoZone are coming in as well. Chris says a little competition is a good thing. There's plenty of opportunity. People have been fantastic here. They've, they've open, welcomed us with open arms. We're happy to be here, and I think they're happy as well. Uh, we're here as well for the jobs um, and the opportunity that we're providing, and um, it's really nice.